Hi everyone, I'm going to take a moment now and demonstrate exercise um, number four from chapter three. It's in your textbook on page 184. Uh, this is an exercise uh, to show adjusting entries for prepaid insurance. Uh, the whole purpose is to, to illustrate one of the ways we make adjusting entries at the end of an accounting period. Okay, before you is the question right from the text. Prepaid insurance has a balance of $4,112 at the end of an accounting period before adjustment, and you are asked to prepare the entries in journal form to record the insurance expense for the period under two separate independent assumptions. So first, let's work through number one. An examination of the insurance policies shows that unexpired insurance that cost $1,974 at the end of the period. Um, it, so we know that we start with off with $4,112, and I'm going to go use the T accounts as well to illustrate that. We start off with $4,112, and we know we need to make an adjustment. And I'm going to sort of work through what the adjustment will be. Um, we're going to make an entry to record expired insurance. You know, we start off with 4,112. We know we need to wind up with 1,974. So, real simple math here. The amount of our adjustment should be $2,138, which I believe will be a debit to insurance expense and a credit to prepaid insurance. Now let's illustrate that in T account form. Uh, from your readings, you know that prepaid insurance is a current asset account, and assets normally have a debit balance. So we start off with 4112 As we post our entry for this adjustment, uh, insurance expense would then be credited by that 2138 And if we calculate the, the ba new balance, we should wind up with 1974 the amount of unexpired insurance. Um, that takes care of, uh, of our first situation. Now let's work on the second independent examination, which says insurance costs of $694 have expired during the period. This one is really straightforward. We have the same debits and credits. And let me copy that down. We have the same purpose to record insurance expense. But here we don't have to do any, uh, any subtraction. They give you the amount of the adjustment, 694 and 694. Oh, one mistake. From entry one below, above, I showed the T account of the credit of 2138. We would also show the debit of 2138. Remember, every time you make an entry, the debits must equal the credits. So this debit here of 2138 has to be offset with that credit there. Okay, that was going back to number one. Now I want to delete this and illustrate number two. We have the debit and credit in front of us. Again, pretty straightforward. We started off with uh, 4,112. We would credit prepaid insurance for 694, and we would debit insurance expense of 694. And under the second, uh, the second number two. Oh, excuse me. Something pops up. You'll have to bear with me. Let me get that out of the way. We would. Uh, we would have a balance of our opening balance minus whatever adjustments we make, leaving a balance of 3,418. And sure enough, on our second one, we have a debit of 694 and a credit of 694. And uh, over here, let me highlight this. Uh, the, that represents uh, what the uh, what the question is looking for as a final answer. Okay, everyone, 